Now this class is a part of a series where we'll try to cover some of the important uh, properties of uh, triangles uh, before your JE advanced uh, exam. So definitely subscribe to the channel and this, these properties might sometimes come in handy. And this is one such uh, property. The, the property states that if I take the orthocenter of a triangle, the orthocenter of a triangle is the uh, point where all the altitudes of the triangle, they actually meet. If I take the orthocenter of the triangle and I reflect it along one of the sides, which means that I extend this line HO by the same amount downwards. Okay, So I extended this line by the same amount downwards. So OX is equal to uh, HO and the, and the line is just extended. Uh, then this point X, which I get would lie on the circumcircle, which means that it will lie on the same circle uh, as the uh, as on which the the vertices of the triangle lie. It will lie on the circumcircle itself. So that is the uh, that is the idea. That is the theorem. That is the uh, thing the use, useful property of the orthocenter. That reflection of the orthocenter uh, along one of the sides actually lies on the circumcircle. And we will try to prove this. Now, see, the proof is not so important uh, for you. You might think that it's not so important, but the benefit of doing the proof is that it goes in your permanent memory, and then that way you will remember this property forever. Okay, so just just work with me, and the proof is so interesting that uh, uh, you will just you might you will just like it so much. Okay, uh, it is so simple. See, the thing is, we will just draw this these lines and complete the quadrilateral ABXC. So this quadrilateral ABXC, ABXC, if X were to lie in, on the same circle, that then this quadrilateral ABXC becomes a cyclic quadrilateral. The cyclic quadrilateral is a quadrilateral which can be uh, circumscribed by a circle. So this quadrilateral ABXC is a cyclic quadrilateral. Uh, if this theorem were to hold true, then it will be a cyclic quadrilateral. And if this is a cyclic quadrilateral, then the property of the cyclic quadrilateral is that, or this is a cyclic quadrilateral if and only if the opposite sum of the opposite angles is actually equal to one and uh, 180 degree. So this is three and four, which means that one plus two plus three plus four should be equal to 180 degree. So we'll just write it angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 plus angle 4 is equal to 180 degree. If these are equal to 180 degree, then this is a cyclic quadrilateral. If this is a cyclic quadrilateral, then of course A, B, C and X has to have to lie on the same uh, circle, which will be the circumcircle of the uh, triangle. So that is the idea behind this proof. Now, how would we go about proving this? It is actually not very difficult. The first thing that we do is that we realize that by the very nature of this point X, since OX and OH are equal, so this line is equal to this line, this side BO is common and this angle is 90 degree in both of these uh, triangles 1 and 2, which means that triangle 1 and 2 are actually similar. So that is the first thing we do because they are similar triangles. If this angle is, is 1, uh, then this angle is also equal to 1. And similarly, this angle is equal to 2. That is the first thing that we do. Now, well, the second thing that we do is we look at this triangle and we name this angle as angle 5. Okay. Now, in this triangle, the this triangle right here, okay, A, C and we'll just call this P. So this triangle ACP, if you look at this triangle, this angle is actually equal to 90 degree. So this is 90, which means that some of these three angles should also be equal to 90 because they should total 180. So then I can therefore write angle 3 plus angle 4 plus angle 5 is actually equal to 90 degree. Very, very simple. Now, same thing, let's just do it right here. So this triangle, we'll name the, this one 6, this will name Q, okay. So A, B, Q, this triangle, look at this angle right here, this is 90. So angle 3 plus 4 plus 6 should also be equal to 90. So angle 3 plus angle 4 plus angle 6 should also be equal to 90. Now very, very, now we'll use another special property of, of triangles. 
uh, this angle 1 is the exterior angle is the uh, uh, angle which is exterior to which two sides this side okay and this side of this triangle a b h okay so i am looking at the triangle which triangle look at it very carefully a b and h this triangle a b and h look at this angle this is exterior to uh, angle formed by the sides a h and the side b h so a h i am extending and b h that but those sides uh, form this angle 1 so this angle 1 should be equal to angle 3 plus angle 6 so okay that is the thing i am getting which means that angle 3 plus angle 6 i can i can sum these two together and write, write them as angle 1 so angle 4 plus angle 1 is equal to 90 degree similarly this angle 2 right here okay we'll just use another color uh, so that things look nice okay so this angle 2 right here is exterior to this exterior angle to the triangle a h c so now i am looking at this triangle a h c and here i can say angle 2 is actually equal to angle 4 plus angle 5 angle 4 plus angle 5 now angle 4 and angle 5 are given right here so this i can therefore write from this equation okay so this 4 and 5 i can write it as 2 that means angle 2 plus angle 3 is actually equal to 90 degrees okay. now what do i do i use this equation right here and this equation right here and i add them together so if i add them together together what do i get i get right so angle 2 plus angle 3 is a 90 degree i'll get get to one side so this this is the uh, this is what i have done in this equation in the top equation I have substituted angle 2 as angle 4 plus angle 5. This is what I have done. Okay? This substitution has happened here. So, in this equation. So, angle 4 plus angle 5 becomes angle 2. Okay? And angle 2 plus angle 3 is now becomes 90 degree. So, if I add these two equations together, what do I get? These two equations I am adding uh, together and we will again go up because we are out of space. So, we get angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 plus angle 4 on one side on other side we will get 90 plus 90 which is equal to 180 degree and that is actually what we intended to uh, intended to prove okay so so with this we were able to uh, prove this uh, theorem and hopefully now we will be able to, to remember it in subsequent class we will look at another theorem of orthocenter reflection and that is also very very important if you remember it it will be good for it might help you in solving the problems no one can actually guarantee that <laughs> because je advanced is like that but still it might become helpful okay. thank you